It's not. No, it's not. Gabby took the syringe away from me before I was ever able to get Gwen to admit that she deliberately pushed Grandma and murdered her. And don't tell me that she didn't do it on purpose. Time to go. You gotta calm, calm down. down. Yeah, I need to calm down. I need to just let it all go. I've heard that over and over and over again. Don't know how I'm supposed to do it because the one person that I would turn to to help me get through something like this is dead. And that person happens to be my grandma. Abigail. Let me help you. Will you do that? There's nothing I want more in the world than to help you pass this to heal. I said the same thing to Gwen. All I want is to help you to make peace, if you'll let me. Aren't you going to offer me a drink? Okay, I'll just help myself then, shall I? Okay. You know why Jack wanted to see Abigail? He talked to you about it first. It's because of me. Worse. You ran the jack about what Abigail and Gabby did to you, didn't you? No, I hardly went running. I did file a police report, though, but Jack is a reporter, so he, he would have found out anyway. Then what do you think would happen? He would disown Abigail and anoint you his favorite new daughter? Of course not. He would never turn his back on her. He would to me. <laughs> He wasn't so obliged and guilty. Am I supposed to feel sorry for you now? No, hardly. I made everyone's life hell. I don't expect Jack to just welcome me with open arms after what I did to him and his family. That sounds almost... Self-aware, remorseful even. What's your angle here? Chad, there is no angle. I also don't expect Abigail to see me as a real sister. But uh, if I want any sort of chance of having a relationship with my father, then, well, she and I are just going to have to learn to peacefully coexist. Well, I actually agree with you, but you've come to ask me for my help. <laughs> no, that, that's actually not why I'm here. I'm here to talk about you and me. When everyone said Sierra was dead, I had to believe she was alive. Because nothing could be worse than never seeing her again. I was wrong. <laughs>